Well, welcome to my studio. Today we're in Carmel, California. This is the, the scene in the background is the ocean there at Pacific Grove, which is right near Carmel and the Monterey Bay. This is such a beautiful, beautiful area. Jack and I lived here in 1998 um, into 99 and just absolutely beautiful area just oh my goodness we loved it so much we lived in a home right on the ocean gosh we had sea lions and seals coming up in our on the rocks in front of our home and could see whales out in the ocean it was just delightful and then in 2004 we went back and spent christmas there and had just an absolutely wonderful Christmas full of memories so I am I'm working from a picture that we took on that Christmas trip I showed it in the beginning of the video and so now we're we're painting the ocean I've already done the sky it's got the sun warmed clouds and now I'm working on the water as we get to the horizon line what I want to do is this is a mixture of my mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue, plus a lizard crimson, plus white. Now, I've got that horizon line in there. And the perspective may be a little bit skewed in the video. It's because I have to put the camera at an angle. If I put it directly behind me, you couldn't see me paint. What I do when I get my horizon line in there, I come back and I just soften that. I zigzag it, make a zigzag along the whole entire line. Then I clean out my brush. So we're going to soften that edge. Soft edges go back, hard edges come forward. And on the ocean, if you look, normally that horizon line is, is soft. It's a little fuzzy because of all the moisture in the air, the atmospheric perspective. So what I'm doing here is now I'm going to drag this brush over that line and those zigzags just makes that line a softer line. So, and hopefully I can do it all in one stroke. This is... Now that's a little, little bit wiggly but I can come back and, and make corrections here. I also want to just, I don't want that hard line in there either up above and below the, the horizon line. So I take my clean brush again. And I use, this is just plain old tissue, toilet tissue paper that I use. And I just take a wad about that size and can clean my brush. Now I want to soften this edge here. I need to bring this down just a touch. Make sure that horizon line is straight. Okay, this is up a little high. Now I'm going to fix my clouds. And see how much softer that is now? Now that goes back. Now we're going to put in these distant rocks. So outcropping of rocks out here. And this is mixtures of my mud, plus a little bit more ultramarine blue, plus some cadmium orange. And then here I'm just using some of my mud plus liquid rocks as they come down to the water are darker because they are wet. The waves crash up on them. And I bring some blues from my water into here. This is ultramarine blue plus white. I want those rocks to be cool. I want them to be bluer because cool colors go back, bluer colors go back, warm colors come forward. In the front I'm going to have orange trumpet vine, red geraniums, a hot pink bougainvillea, and sunflowers in here, and then that terracotta floor. 
that will all come forward of that blue blue water. So we want all this to be cool. Now we'll start coming forward with our water. And I need a little darker mixture here of my, this is my ultra, mostly ultramarine blue plus white and then just a touch of my mud. This gives me a deeper blue. Even the water is cooler in the back and then it gets warmer as it comes forward. There's another outcropping of rocks right up here in the front. I'm not going to worry about those right now. Kind of work around them. Now as I come forward, the water gets warmer, so I'm using a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus thalo blue plus white. And I vary the some of this is darker and because when you look at the ocean, it's not just a solid blue. You get variations because the water's moving. And so the as it's more upright, it's darker. Or if the water is deeper, it's darker. As it comes forward, the, the water gets shallower. So you start seeing the bottom, which here is, is sandy. And so that water, that bottom, the sand on the bottom is a creamy color, so the water becomes more green. And that's why I'm using that phthalo blue. This comes up. Also have waves crashing in here. They'll be crashing against these rocks. That's going to be behind the Bougainvillea. Now this, as we get closer to the beach, gets the water gets lighter and, and warmer. It's more green because the water is very shallow here. So as the sun hits the water, that creamy sand shows through and that makes it more green. This is particularly um, apparent in the Caribbean. It's not as much here, although I tend to exaggerate it. Just that take artistic license, which is the fun of painting. You can do that. I'm mixing a little bit of my sand color here. I'm using mud plus and I'm adding a little cadmium yellow to it. Cadmium yellow medium and then white. And this gives me that creamy sand color. Clean out my brush. I just squish it in my thinner and then wipe, wipe the bristles clean. So that sand here, this is going to just invite the viewer to walk, step off of the terrace here and just walk down to the beach. And as this, the water back here is dark, or the sand back here is darker because it's wet. So where it's back underneath the, where the waves have come up, that's, that's darker. And then here's my lighter. You've never been to Carmel, California and Pacific Grove, the Monterey Bay area. Oh my goodness gracious. That's a that's a trip very worth taking. Okay, let's put a few waves in there in the background. This is a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus a little white. 
and my waves in the distance are not going to be pure white because I want them to, to go back. As they get closer, the foam and all on the waves will be, be more white. As you can see, just a few brush strokes give us, gives us that feeling of waves back there crashing up here. And then as they come in here, this water's shallower back in this little cove, and so we get a little more of the surf and the foam. And, but I'm using my ultramarine blues back in here because I want that to go back. The, the, that, I don't know what I was going to say, <laughs> forgive me. Sometimes I start talking and my brain hasn't engaged yet. But that's, I wanna, want to just soften that. Don't want those edges very hard. And I need to bring a few little darks in here. And bring just some light here. I need to make a mixture of my lighter version of this ultramarine blue plus white. I don't like that. That's some of my far color and it's too gray. So I can just scrape that off. Come back with my darker ultramarine blue in here. And then I want a lighter, where sunlight's just shooting across that water. Let me quick kind of get these rocks sort of blocked in here. Now these are going to be darker. And I have a little more orange in this mixture so that that makes them come forward. These rocks are just so fun to go and sit out on them. And Jack and I used to, the rocks in front of our home, we used to just sit out there, we'd go eat our lunch and sit on the rocks and just listen to the waves. And, oh, it was delightful. One day I was sitting there and I had, we'd gotten sandwiches and we were eating our sandwiches and I was kind of holding mine just out. We were visiting, talking. I wasn't paying much attention. All of a sudden the seagull just swooped down and took my sandwich, took my sandwich just right out of my hand. I mean it was so surprising. I just, I was shocked and disappointed because it was a good sandwich. But that seagull got a good, good meal. Now I'm going to pop a few waves in here. I'm using my, this is not pure white yet. This is still some of my other that I used for the background. I'll add the pure white later, but you can see I can just bring the waves in here. Now I'm going to add the pure white. You can see how that's, how that wave just pops up against there. I have some in here. And there's going to be some tumbling in here. They're going to come up over. And that's darker. As the wave rises up, that's a little bit darker. The upright plane is darker.
Now this is basically blocked in. I still have a lot more work to do on this, but I just wanted to wanted to show you how I get started painting the water. And I'll show you the, the water finished in the final frame of the video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. I do hope you will subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process as I paint. And so the link to that is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. So thank you again for watching my YouTube videos. And just remember, today is a great day to have a great day.